Dog told you that. Yeah, hello, sleepy dog. Sorry about that. Let me, uh... There we go. Hello to you, sleepy dog. 4040 out here on the gray shakies of Cali. Let's go. Hey, Ken. Yeah, 4040. Good to hear you in there. Been a, been a day or 14 since we heard you. I'll tell you, it's been, it's been few and far between getting southern skip in here, so uh, sure is nice to hear a familiar voice. Okay. Yeah, Roger, sleepy dog. Yeah, man, I just uh, blown away, man. I'm just blown away. You're getting to hear you guys in here. That 10 for two and probably well, it's getting off of my end down here too. I got Cali coming in right with you now. Yeah, Roger on that sleepy dog. All right, man, well, it's doggone. It's good to hear my brothers up north, man. It's good to hear y'all up north, man. Missed you guys. All right, let me get out of the middle of the road. I'm sure someone else wanted to jump in there and say hello. Sleepy dog, 4040. Out here on the beautiful dock of the bay, me and this old Yakima was gone. Back at you, and we'll hopefully uh, put a speak on you later some other time. Chaos and the Evergreen, and we're back quiet. Who is that, Chaos? Hey, uh, Chaos, what's going on up north? 4040, look at Uh oh, someone putting a DC in there, man. Somebody put a DC in my radio. What's going on? Back here pretty soon. We're going to have a bunch of the island boys down there in the blue water coming in. Somebody teeing up in Alaska up there. <laughs> hey, 40, 40, 429, trying to put it on. Yeah, hello, 429. What's going on, man? Dude, ben, it's been a month of Sunday since we heard you boys up north, man. It's been a month of Sunday since we heard you boys up north. <laughs> man, my beam's still broken. I still can't point all the way north, man. I still can't point all the way north, but I got, at least I got a couple watts. I don't have 21 watts no more. I'm just cruising on this little baby steel tube there, Roger. Got a grip on you there. Buddy says 696, maybe. Hello, 4040. Hello, 4040 chaos with a wave your way. We heard you in there. We heard you in there, 4040. Chaos with a four and one right back at you. Yeah, hello, chaos. Good to hear you too, man. Yeah, I thought I heard you in there, man. Uh, what's shaking up north, chaos? What's shaking up there, Cat Mega? Oh, not much. We're just uh, rolled back into town from a little week's vacation up in the woods. We're gonna make some bill payments and then head right back up in there and enjoy the peace and quiet. I heard that, brother. I heard that, man. You always gotta come home to pay the bills, though. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? You go out in the woods and have a good time and feel free. And then you got to come home and pay some damn bills when you ain't even been home. <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes, Chaos. But, uh, hey, man, good to hear you up north, man. Good to hear you all up north, Chaos. I got a video game rolling there. Come on down. 10-4 uh, there, 40-40. You're sounding good in my radio in this broadband radio, this 45 modified 142. You sound a good my speaker, Chaos, up here in the Evergreen, told you so. Yeah, Roger, Chaos. Yeah, my beam's broken, man. I can't, uh, I can't get it up north, man. I could go, uh, northeast, but that's as far as I can go, man. So I just gotta, just gotta do what I can do, man. But, like I said, man, I got a video game rolling, man. You put some, uh, some pretty doggone good numbers down here, man. All right, I'll let you go, Chaos. I'm sure everyone's keying on me. I'm sure they all putting that mall on me, Chaos. Take care, my brother, Mr. Chaos, 4040, sitting on the dock of the bay, walking on through. Morning around Seattle, Washington. Yeah, man, everybody. 10 there, 4040. Yeah, that's pretty rough over here. Pretty rough on my end over here. Chaos with the wave, and we'll let you go on that one. Good to hear you in there, 4040, sounding good, as usual. Chaos up here in the Evergreen with a wave, and we're back on. Hi, right, Chaos. Like I said, man, I got you on the video game. I got my kid, he's playing his yo gabba gabba game. 
<laughs> All right, homeboy, take care, Mr. Chaos. 4040 Gray Shakey's of Cali. Me and these small whites got down. I'll see you. Yeah, who is that? Was that West Side? Yeah, but anyway, 295. Hello, 4040 by the dock of the bay. I don't want to say it too loud, and then the whole world's going to come out there, my friend, no doubt about it. <laughs> How you doing? Good to hear you up here in the northwest corner, no doubt about it, 4040. Radio station West Side with the evening wave. All right, I'll fake everybody out. I'll call you East Side. Oh, to you, East Side. <laughs> Waving a hand at you, my brother. Waving a hand at you. I got my son in my room. He's in the radio room. I just picked him up uh, his costume. Picked him up his little costume and uh, his Yo Gabba Gabba costume. And he's in here singing and dancing. And <laughs> he's going crazy, man. He's going crazy. But uh, it's all good, man. He's got to enjoy these moments there, Roger. Roger that. What kind of a costume did you say you had there? I'm just kind of curious there. We don't get too many kids around here anymore. I always hear him, people calling him, and him not coming back to him. And tell him he needs to turn his hearing aids up earlier in the day. Chaos said it. We're back quiet. Everybody knew everybody. I think it was fun. I want to know more on the conditions down south. Like it's about half sick anyway, so what more does a guy need there, 10 4? Yeah, Roger, man. Yeah, our little neighborhood we live down in here, man. It's uh, I know uh, a lot of my neighbors, man. Lower, lower, know a lot of the neighbors, and uh, everybody's pretty cool around here, man. No, not too many crazy folks, but uh, but the kids uh, they love to go out on Halloween and uh, get some candy. I still got my little guy here, my five-year-old, so. You know, I got some kids that are older and grown up. One's already gone, and dude, I had to start all over again. <laughs> but uh, I like going out there trick or treating with them. I like going out there trick or treating with them. It's kind of fun, man. Get them out there, and uh, and I get me some candy too, man. <laughs> I get me a little candy every now and then. If I see some good candy, I'll be like, oh, uh, can I have one of them? <laughs> but uh. Yeah, he's got a Yo Gabba Gabba. It's a little show he watches on Nickelodeon. Yo Gabba Gabba. So he's got this thing, man. He loves that show. We got him his little costume, man. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it off him. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it off him there, Roger. Holy moly, it's getting rougher and tougher there, 44. 40, 40, 40. Gabba Gabba, huh? I'm not sure if I know what that is. I don't think I right, I'm watching the right cartoons on TV or something there, but it sounds pretty interesting. Bad phones on? Rocker or something like that, I'm guessing. No doubt about it, but yeah, I get my share of candy too. We always buy more than we need, you know, so then me and Junior Buck, we split it up pretty much later. I've noticed though that he goes through and hydrates. <laughs> he doesn't take what he wants at one time. He goes through and hydrates and rat holes a bunch of it there. <laughs> Anyway, I felt good. Uh, you'll enjoy that five-year-old. I tell you what, it seemed like my first family, I was so busy working and growing up myself, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of time. But uh, with this one here, and especially with Junior here, I'm going to keep this bump and down one time. It's a pleasure. He's a pretty doggone good company, I will admit there. I don't mind spending time with him at all. And I think I just learned to appreciate him more, too. I don't know. Maybe that's just, I don't know, maybe it just means that I'll spend more time with him. But anyway, it's all good, though. But uh, I remember when he was five. Oh, holy moly. I'll tell you what. Pretty doggone special. So I know where you're sitting there, my friend. I for sure do. Not that you've been there and done that, but something similar anyway. Anyhow, I'm just running real, real, real low. I'm running real, real low on this end, hoping not to create a big pile up. Oh, uh, Doc Adam. Hello, Scratch Man. 
He told me something, that's why he does what he does. And he doesn't have the whole world coming back at him, and he can't have it here, so. Anyway, but I'm not in quite the same proportion that he is, so sometimes if I want to get out there and do any talking, i got to use all three and a half watts on this end. But it's sure good to hear you there, 4040. I'll tell you what, and I'm sorry to hear that your beam's stuck in one place. That's no good at all, my friend. But it sounds to me like you're doing some talking on this end, even at that. And you're pointed in the right direction, because it seems like that's where all the skips have been. Northeast, I think this is... We had a little bit of inklings there late in the evening, past my bedtime down south, but uh, by that time I was so tired I didn't care. I was going to bed. But this is in prime time. They call this prime time right now. <laughs> At least I do, and they do on TV. So this is prime time, no doubt about it, 4040. Your friend on this end, the west side, and I'm stepping again. Yeah, Roger, west side. Yeah, man, you'll see the video game, man. You, uh, I'm close enough. Close enough for the field, as we say in uh, my profession. Close enough for the field. <laughs> Yeah, the conditions have been going crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I got this old Yezu, man, and uh, I actually been playing up there in, uh, on sideband for a little bit and uh, talking around the world. The UK, Europe, France, Italy. I mean, it's just been absolutely crazy. I've been having so much fun talking to them boys over there. It's... Uh, it's just wild, man. It's just wild. But yeah, I got my little guy here, the littlest guy, he's two, man. I got two in the five. So, uh, yeah. I definitely try to enjoy every minute. Try to enjoy every minute of it, man. But, uh, all right, hey, uh, West Side, I'll jump out of here, man. I don't want to hog it all. Not that I can. <laughs> Not that I can, brother. Like I said, my beam, uh, my beam, it just won't go north. It'll go south. It'll go everywhere, but uh, but north. But uh, I'm getting a new beam, new rotor, so I'm not too worried about it. I bet. I guess I better get on it quicker than I thought I would. I was. I was saying I, I don't have to talk north anyway. It'll be a while before I get to talk to the boys up north. But uh, if this keeps continuing, I'm I'm gonna have to make my move. All right, West Side, take care. Love, peace, and happiness. Tell Jane Junior Buck I said hello. And uh, I'll get out of here. I'm sure you're probably straining to hear me, man. Hey, West Side, take care, my brother. And uh, I'll get out of here. 4040, out of here in the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge, sitting on the dock of the bay. I'll get back with you. And, uh, catch y'all later. 4040. Well, I'll let your feet dangle over the dock of the bay there and let them soak in that seawater there. And they tell me that's good for you. <laughs> it's probably pretty doggone cold anyway. But good deal on the uh, F2 conditions and being talking across the pond there. That's pretty cool. Let's get a little bit into the UK, too. And then one of the fellas came in. Yeah, but mentioned that uh, he was here. And I think me and, me and Baker Man and, and somebody else over in the UK on this frequency, so... Pretty doggone interesting, but I know uh, 10 meters is wide open from what I hear from my ham fans. I guess they're just <laughs> sleepy dogs. My real good friend over there is about 400 miles away. Take care, skyscraper. I'm stepping in the clear. Ah, doggone it. There we go. <clears throat> I had my foot on something else there. I didn't need to have it on, so. Anyway, you take care. God bless, 4040. It's always a pleasure on this end, my friend. And I look forward to the next time we can put it down on That's a 10 for for sure. And give that five-year-old a big hug for old Uncle Bob up here on this end, no doubt about it. Or Uncle Buck, one of the two. I just, I really, I like kids. I've always liked kids. I think they're probably the most special thing in this world. I really do. And that's a 10 for for sure. Anyway, and it says someplace in the Bible, and I can't remember exactly how Jesus worded it. Or anything, but that the, uh, the, the children are the closest thing to me. And uh, that's because they're so honest and they're so open and they have no sin in their life. So pretty doggone cool people. Anyway, I sure appreciate them. All righty, 4040, take care, God bless. And as always, it's a pleasure on this end, radio station Westside.
rescue a friend on this end right out here on the North Oregon coast, and I just got on down quiet.